Hi, Chip. I've been careful. I'm taking structural criticism. I make mistakes too. We love you, but you gotta be careful with me. Okay, it's good to see you. It's good to be here. Oh god. Now you're in a song, but he got away with something I can't do. Tim and Eric won't let me do it, and Warner Brothers won't let me do any of my original songs. We got a song to do called Cat and Lad. Dad and Lad. Dad. Lad. Okay. And um well thank you all for coming in the rain and uh, putting on those umbrella mushrooms so you can stay dry. Here's a song called Dad and Lad. Thank you. This is the show. But they, they were four questions. We all want to see a whole bunch of four questions. and only four questions. Thank you. Here we go. Hi, David. What do you think is the most important thing an artist should be doing? Yeah, well, part of getting training for whatever, singing, piano playing, getting schooling to better your craft. Yeah, good yeah. What's your favorite color? Red. <laughs> Excitement, love, romance. Has anyone really been for even as decided to use even go want to do look more alike? <laughs> What's that? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it either. Um, how about... Have you ever broken a puppet? You you baptized my puppet. Now don't get mad and walk off the street. You did off the stage because you did it one time. Yes, a, a year and a half ago, I spilled a little bit of water on it one of your puppets. It was wine. You will and never let it, let it go. I do let it go, but just be real careful from now on. You bring it up all the time. I only brought it up this first time, Mr. Critical. That's the first time. And a, and a long time. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you could be any animal, what would it be? The best animal you can be is a human being. Yeah. <laughs> you have freedom to go into whatever. What about an alien? Humans what? are even better than aliens? I don't know. But I would like to be the most advanced intelligent alien. Okay, we did four questions. Now it's time to get back to the show. Yeah. You know, I haven't done songs about my ex-girlfriends that done me for other men. I think it's time for that. I'm going to do a song about a lady that left me for her pastor. And when a pastor left her for another man. Yeah. And pregnant with a child. Yeah, I do a lot of forgiveness about that one. No more blues about Sonia Root. What did you dream about last night? Wow. Well, <laughs> I had a dream that you opened the door and threw me out the river and I sunk down real deep. Really? And some angels came and got me and put me back in the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I sounds like a made up dream. No. <laughs> When you get mad at me sometimes, I think it's really going to happen. But I'm, I know you won't do that. Do you know you? what time I think it really is? I think it's time for your complaint of the day. I feel like you got some pent up frustration. Just let it out. Well, my complaint of the day, and it's a true complaint, I wrote beautiful hymns for my church. And they refused 60 of them, and they were going to accept the last 12 and the new Christian Science Supplement. Then they even refused those and had me to pay a member $200 a page to lead sheeted on the computer with the bass clef, treble clef, and the C clef. So I'm grateful to God that the, the praise of the day is... CCLI Christian Copyright Licensing and GIA Publishing Company, uh, which which um, uh, one licensing uses my music, and the, and the, and the praise of the day. I'm so happy to have you work with me. Yay! Thanks, buddy. Happy to work with you. Okay. Uh, I, I I go. You know, Halloween's coming up, and I'm going to do a song from my new album called The Ghost Rock. I lived in a haunted house, two haunted houses. I'm going to go with the last one. My parents went to Park Forest, Illinois, which is a suburban of Chicago, 40 miles away from Chicago. My sister forgot to feed my fish, my turtles, and my frogs. The frog came back and haunted the shit out of me. <laughs> he said, you didn't feed me, and I died during the summer. Your sisters didn't feed me. Nobody came back there to see how I was doing in your back uh, uh, bedroom and back in the cottage from, from the uh, home in Park Forest. And now, and, and it stopped. The water was, was gravy, fish, and, and, and turtle. It was the gross I had to clean the fish tank out. My sister was trifling lazy. She didn't get no allowance from me for three years. Here's a song about the frog that haunted the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a puppet that I didn't take out yesterday, but I'm gonna bring her out today. Love her a bit, gonna kiss her on the lips. Give a warm welcome to Burkama. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Markama. How are you? Oh, you and I have gotten very close since Christy left you. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going to take me out tonight, handsome? Markama, I'm keeping our relationship purely professional. I know you're David's girlfriend. I would never want to come between the two of you. Well, you get tired of the same old reruns made by yourself. Oh. I'm always available. Oh. Ah, see? Didn't catch that. Okay, we got a song to do called Love It a Bit. Well, my dad was too uh, lazy to drive, and we took the area I wanted up to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And, and we took it to Indiana to Connorsville uh, family reunions as well. It was a train that was maroon, yellow, and gray. And uh, uh, Conrail bought it out the freight, Jersey Transit bought out the commuter service, and the long distance passenger service was discontinued. And, and, and 1970. For, for a railroad that gave me so much joy, my ex-wife sold my Erie Lackawanna train set. So if anybody out there would like to get me a Christmas present, I'm looking for the Erie Lackawanna Railroad and I'm, uh, uh, the trains that Oberlin made. They made the best ones. Oberlin and HO Get me an Erie Lackawanna train set. I especially am looking for the Erie Lackawanna MU commuter cars that were built in the 20s that used to be pushed by steam engines. And then they got, got rid of the steam engines. Then they put pantographs on them and the coaches ran by themselves. They're in museums all over the United States. And here's a dedication song to the Erie Lackawanna Railroad. Erie Lackawanna. Oops. That's uh, 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 my zipper song. 
Um, started playing for a piano uh, in the Christian Science Church in the Sunday School in Chicago in 44, Michigan. Zephyr taught me how to play the Christian Science it was a piano. Then when I moved to Park Forest, Illinois, Mrs. Volk gave me voice lessons and uh, Ms. Waller gave me piano lessons and Kathy Case gave me more pianos to, uh, to learn more piano music theory lessons. And then I had a distant cousin that lived in Los Angeles that was um, related on my Caucasian side and she taught me how to play the more opera and Christian science. And then I started writing music of my own. So I think it's only an, uh, appropriate to do one of my hymns put to my own original music called Walking with God. Yeah. Video's not working. I gotta restart. Oh. Yeah. Well, you see me? Mm -hmm. Okay. You crazy. Well, we got a commercial break. <laughs> what are you gonna do to entertain us? Well, I told all the jokes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a joke. This is Kevin Hart only use his name. But he, you know he like he like uh, people that are punk rockers. They remind him a lot of poking pie heads. They all that shit on their head. You know, um, you know, he don't want me taking his name. He said, I have a name hard before use. So he said, No, nope, it's my domain. Kevin Hart. So I told my grandmother Schroeder, what can I do? He says, well, you know, uh, the German saw made, uh, made bosses out of their German names. And they cut the man off our family name after the night. And they made it Liebehart, or some family members just Liebehart. But anyway, uh, so don't use my motherfucking name again. I'm old with Kevin Hart. I said, I won't do it. You can have it. It's your domain. Love you, Kevin Hart. Talented. I won't mess with you. You like Mr. T? You know, I asked Mr. T for his autograph. I said, Mr. T, I love you. Just shit, I'm fool. I'm not to shoot out of you. I don't give autographs to men. Only women I want to go out with. <laughs> I find this impression like racially <laughs> insensitive, David. Well, you, you're, 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 you're a critical pickle. You don't want me criticizing you in the stage. He told me he's gonna he's gonna walk off the stage if I say anything bad about him. Look what he just did to me. Gave me a, a criticism of a punch. That is mean. It's true. It's kind of hypocritical. Well, you know, I'm gonna tell you what happened when I was in the South. My old punk rock band, Adam Papagan, was a smart ass. Phil Shy, my manager, I got back again. They all ran off the stage. They didn't know that all my fans knew all the songs in the punk rock band. They came up on the stage and did them and did a better show than they did. So the band already did a couple of my songs, so if you want to go on strike with me, you can. Should I leave? It's up to you. So don't get mad at me. Could be interesting. Okay. You got ready for the song? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Maybe uh, nah, I got my little critter for you. You know him, I've got a gift for you. Salome! Yeah! Hey. Sir for Jason the Cat! Jason! Yeah! Oh, Woo! Jason. Thank you for being careful with me. Yeah, I'll be very nice with you. Oh, you're welcome, Jason. We got a song to do that you all like. I don't know the name of those critters. They're aliens! Hey, let's do the song now. Go into the light. What's wrong with your voice tonight, Jason? You have to put the air conditioning on so cold you make a popsicle out of my throat. My voice sounds totally weird. You made a popsicle out of my throat. You got the air conditioning on so cold. Sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. Okay, we're going to do the songs. Solomon. 
They used me like salt on, a, on, a, on, a, on their dinner table, on the meal. They, uh, but I'm grateful for the little bit I did get. I was friends with Vivian Vance, and she was a friend of mine in Christian Science Church. And she was on, I, uh, she's, uh, when they did the Lucy show, and here's Lucy after the I Love Lucy show, she was replaced by an actress named Mary Craft. I only used once in a while on the Here's Lucy, the Lucy show, and I Love Lucy. And she, I guess she predicted what Tim and Eric were going to do to me. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I'll get on another better show. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Thank you all for coming out here. I have merch out there for sale, so I'll, I'll come back there and meet you all. Thanks for coming out. Yay. Yay.